Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Latrax Teton into a Latrax Rally. To be honest, this probably isn't the best conversion to do. There's going to be quite a few parts that are going to be different. But I was asked to make this video, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I will start by doing a comparison between the two. As you can see, there's quite a bit different. This basically, even though they call it a Rally, it's basically a street car. And this would be considered a monster truck. So I'm not entirely sure of how many parts are going to be changed, but I know there's going to be quite a few. Right here you can see the wheelbase is the same. The width is completely different. All right, let's get started. All right, so I got the tires off. I'm going to go ahead and take the shock towers off. And the rear bumper can come off. I can pop these links off. Take these axles out. And these axle carriers will be reused. Body clip is perfect size to fit this in here to get this pin out. Pop this link off too. This will be reused on the rally. Okay, so the shocks won't be used, the arms won't be used, shock towers, body mounts, none of this will be used. Now I can start on the front. I'll go ahead and take the front bumper off now. Alright, then you just pop off these links and the steering links. Alright, so I gotta take this uh, steering apart to get this axle out. So none of this will be used off the front either. Looks like these will be the only parts reused onto the rally. The other thing is you have to change the gear ratio. So the Teton uses a 61 tooth spur gear and a nine tooth pinion. And the Rally uses a 54 tooth spur gear and a 14 tooth pinion. Now I can go ahead and start installing the Rally parts. These uh, out drives are metal on the Teton. So these will actually be better than what was on the Rally. I'll go ahead and start assembling this. So there is these plastic outdrive covers that were on the rally so I'll go ahead and install them on here they're a little bit tighter fit on these but they go on just fine so I will go ahead and start with the front these are not oil filled shocks and on the shock towers it'll tell you right in the middle you probably can't see it on camera it has an F or an R so these are the front there is these spacers that go behind the arms so you just put the pin through, put the spacer on, and then you can install it. And now you can install the front bumper. And the Teton has bearings. And the rally has bushings, so just go ahead and keep your bearings in here. Okay, that one's done. Then these discs can go on. 
Same thing with the other side, I'll go ahead and put this together real quick. So I got this side done, I'll go ahead and start on the rear now. It's basically the same thing as the front. Go ahead and put the pin through. And there's another spacer. Now I can put the shock tower on. And make sure you put these screws in to hold the pins in. I think I forgot to say that in the front. And I'll go ahead and put this side together. All right, that side's, uh, side's done. I just gotta put these discs on. Now I just gotta put these tires back on. That's how you convert your Latrax Teton into a Latrax Rally. That's going to be it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.